please welcome to the show our first ever guest, Mr. Tom Mason. Hello. Can you please take a seat? Hi. Hello. Um, okay. Um, yeah, uh, are, you, are you comfortable? Can I get you a cushion or a, yeah, a, a no, milk, milk box or maybe? I'm, I'm all right. Okay. Um, so you're the, you're the head of Forge TV. Yeah, yeah. that yeah, seems yeah. like a lot of responsibility, maybe. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's the, that's the TV station of the University of Sheffield, yeah? Mm. What kind of things do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, just sort of manage the station, make sure that there's mm. always content going out and uh, yeah just make sure everyone's yeah okay with making videos mm -hmm. I guess cool yeah it's cool yeah. Yeah, yeah um so we all know we're not here to talk to you about your life oh uh, uh, no uh, no we're not okay. uh, we're here to talk to you about the big issues of today oh yeah, yeah absolutely I'll do the talking now okay uh, don't be rude um I love you Tom thank you so what you think like you're a big man now because you've got fans on here, you're nothing, okay? Like, just ignore them. Yeah. Just, just me and you and him. But ignore him. Just me and you, okay? Yeah. Yeah. On here, like, you're just trying to fill time. Yeah. We have we have better segments, in my opinion. Right. Okay. Well, they're the important ones to me, okay? So you just. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Just bring it down, okay? <clears throat> so on to the important questions. Yeah? Mm, yeah. You're a fan of important questions? Yes. If you're in a public bathroom and there's no toilet paper and you've done a shit, would you ever consider using a sock? What kind of a question is that? I mean, it's just a question. I mean... Well, I'm not... I'm not answer the question. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. Answer, answer the question. <coughs> I... N no. No, I... The, the fans want this. I, no, I wouldn't... I wouldn't. No. You wouldn't? No, I wouldn't use my sock. No. You're lying. I'm not lying. If vampires die in sunlight, but moonlight is reflected sunlight, then how do they survive at night? I never I never thought about it. No? No. I don't think that's just a bit weird. Maybe it's something in that. What do you think? Yeah, you think that? I think it's weird. Is he always going to stay back there? Ignore him. Okay. He's a friend, he's part of the show. Okay. He's oh. just here listening to you. I'm just doing my, my bit. Yeah? He's doing his job, just like everyone else here. <coughs> I think you're just, you're just putting everyone off, really. I'm sorry. Okay. Carry on. I will. <coughs> Do I get paid for doing this? Uh, no. No. This is unpaid. Because, let's be honest, you need the publicity more than we do at this point. Right. <clears throat> fair, fair comment. What do I say? You're in charge. Yeah, I'm in charge. Um, have you been in a situation where, like, one of your friends is, like, telling you, oh, I've got this friend, uh, she's really nice, like, she's just fantastic, and I think you'd really get along with her? And you just keep, you hear nothing but good things, like she's the greatest person, like, you've ever heard of. And then you, like, event, you keep, like, missing each other. Uh, you try to, like, your friend tries to get you to meet each other. And then, like, eventually the dates come and you meet them. And then they just spit in your mouth. No, that has never happened. That's never happened? No. Oh. Really? Just not once? No, no, no. Never. Okay. Um, you put me off there. I thought that was a serious answer there. No, sorry. Um, who at Forge do you hate the most? It's so difficult because there are so many. Mm. Um, I don't. I don't think I, could, I should say. No. I don't think I can say. He's fine. Um. There should be so. There's so many people, and some of them are really annoying. That Jack. 
That Jack. That Jack. Yeah. In case he's watching, could you just look into one of these, your camera? This one? Yeah. What should I say? Just say, that Jack is my least favourite member of Forge. That Jack is my least favourite member of Forge. Thank you. Now we've, we've got that on record. Um, do you think that the £2 million that's spent on New Year's Eve fireworks could be spent on something better, such as like the NHS or free pizza for the homeless? I think it's pretty well spent as it is. Yeah? Yeah. I Fair. think the fireworks are Have really... you ever seen that, um, that film Jumanji? No. It's good. Uh -huh. You should see it. Cool. Yeah, it's got that the guy beard. Um, no, I've not seen it. Yeah, I will. Thank you. You can get it out of the library. Cool. So, uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Who's he in it? He's got a beard. Is he the one with the beard? He's the one with the beard. Oh, cool. I forgot his name. Robin Williams. Is it Ro Robbie Williams. What? What's his name? Taking the mic. No. We now come to that point in the show called the Babbling Brook segment, which is a segment we're going to introduce where we just we sit back, we lie, and we just talk about the real, the existential questions. So everyone just lie back. We're going to have some music playing, I think. Realized that that where's Wally? Uh, you know the character Wally from Where's Wally? Yeah. You know he, how he wears stripes. Do you think he wears stripes because he doesn't want to be spotted? That's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. Fine. Right. Yeah, that's. Yeah, man. What? Where's Wally? Agreed. Do you think it's weird that, like, lay back because yeah. you're not really taking this seriously? How far back? Just so you're relaxed. Like, yeah. Like, yeah? Yeah, yeah. This is meant to be relaxing. Yeah, it is. Just imagine babbling Brook. Oh, that's more comfortable. I was not lying comfortably. Oh, okay. I'm better now. Okay. How are you, George? You good? You okay? He's good, he's good. Can I sit up a bit? Okay. Not... Not at all? Okay. Um, do you think it's weird that, like, if you eat... <laughs> A one bit of corn, you're technically eating a unicorn. But if you if you eat it at university, would it be a uni unicorn? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Anything to add, George? Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think like becomes a beekeeper? Like who who goes out and grows up? with that profession in mind? I think it runs in the family. Yeah. I think you don't become a beekeeper, you're born a beekeeper. Mm. You're born keeping bees. Because I've never like met a child who's like, when I, I grow up, I want to be a beekeeper. I feel it's more of a hobby than a profession. But then how do supermarkets get their honey? You can't just have lots of people mm. who are hobbyists making honey. It has to be like a dedicated source. Whoa. Agreed, whoa. Okay, so I think that's the end of the Babbling Brook segment. I'm kind of starting to lose my mind a bit here, so I think we should return to normal. Cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah.